boys and girls, good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone had a good weekend. This is Monday morning. It's going to be September 14th on our calendar, 2020. And this week, we're gonna start our colors. So today, <clears throat> we're gonna just talk about all the colors today, but tomorrow, we're gonna talk about the color red, which is Miss Kathy's favorite color, which I think you learned last week about me. Right? So I'm going to wear my red shirt tomorrow, so you'll see me in my red shirt. So if you're at home, which I, hope, I imagine you are, it would be good to wear your red short, shirt or red pants or red something in your hair if you have a, a, a ponytail, if you're a girl, something that you have red. And if Mommy takes a picture of you and sends it to the Facebook page, we can post all the red pictures for Tuesday. Tuesday's gonna be red day. Now today we're gonna to talk about all the colors and you might notice I might have the same shirt on that I had on last Friday. Um, for some reason I picked it out and that was what I was wearing again today, which is not red, it's green, it's green. I didn't have a rainbow shirt for all the colors. So, but I am so glad you're here and I am so glad we're ready to talk about colors and when you come back in October, then that way we can play some color games and you'll know all your colors. Oh, look at there, that's pretty cool. Let's start our day. Fold your hands, bow your heads, and sing with me. Go with us today as we work and play. Help us to be kind and good and do the things we should. Hello, hello, and how are you? Hello, hello, I'm glad to see you. All right, I am so glad you're here today. And as I said, we're gonna talk about colors. Now. We're not gonna do our jobs every day uh, because you're not here to do the jobs for me. And um, sometimes it's a lot easier if you're here, but we may sing some of the job songs. One of the things though, since we're talking about colors and I have my color crayons with numbers on them on my board, we're gonna look at those today. So I need to move my camera. Remember how I have to stand up and move my camera? Because I don't have a cameraman. And hopefully you can see all the colors. Not sure if you can see the numbers, but you can see the colors. And I'll move my chair out of the way. And these are my crayons, and they have the numbers on them. So first of all, let's sing one little, two little, three little crayons. Ready? One little, two little, three little crayons, four little, five little, six little crayons, seven little, eight little, nine little crayons, 10 little crayons all in a row. All right, let's see. Can you tell me what color number one is? I'm pointing to it. Number one. It's red. That's right. Let's see if I can sit down and do this and you can see my head. Not sure if that'll work. One, number one is red, which is tomorrow's color. Number two is yellow. Good job. I hope you're yelling it out. Yellow. Number three is blue. Blue, good. Number four is a favorite of lots of girls, lots of girls, and it is purple, that's right. Number five is orange. Number six is the color of a John Deere tractor. Green, good. Number seven, eight, nine, and 10 are hiding behind my calendar, but you can still see them. Number seven is white. Number eight is brown. Number nine is pink, and number 10 is black. So those are all the colors, and we're gonna talk more about them now. We're gonna play a game, and you're gonna help me. So let me move my uh, stand over here so that you can see it. I need things that roll. That would be really helpful, you know that. They don't roll. All right, on my board here, I have stars. And the stars are different colors. So let's see if you can help me figure this out. I'm gonna sing a little song, and you yell out the answer. Twinkle, twinkle, red star, who can show me where you are? And this is the red star, so we twinkle it. And I hope you can see it, it's in front of a red board, so that's kind of tricky, isn't it? Yeah, there, it's in front of me, you can see it. Sing it with me. Twinkle, twinkle, red star, 
Who can show me where you are? All right, we'll put that one back. Let's see the next one. Twinkle, twinkle. What color? Yellow star, who can show me where you are? Very good. All right, ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little blue star, who can show me where you are? Good. Red, yellow, and blue are called primary colors, primary colors, and those are the major colors. And they will be in your crayon boxes when you come to preschool. So there's three primary colors. Let's do the next ones. Twinkle, twinkle, what color? Orange star, who can tell me where you are? Very good, orange, orange. Twinkle, twinkle, green star, who can tell me where you are? Here's green. You guys are really good at this. Twinkle, twinkle, purple star, who can tell me where you are? Very good. Orange, green, and purple are our secondary colors. These are the primary colors. These are the secondary colors. Those are big words. Can you say them with me? Primary, secondary. And you know what happens? If you take the primary colors and mix certain ones together, you get the secondary colors. So I don't have anything to show you right at the moment to show you how to do that, but I'm going to tell you, and then maybe the next time I can show you. But if I take red and I take blue and I mix them together, does anybody know what I get? Some of you should remember from last year, we get purple, that's right. Red and blue together makes purple. Very good. Now, if we take blue and yellow, because we have to take two primary colors, and mix them together, do you know what we get? Anybody remember which one? Green, that's right. Mixing blue and yellow together makes green. Very good, okay? And if I take red and yellow together, this is the color, if we mix these together, we get the color of a pumpkin, which is orange. That's right, red and yellow, Oop. red and yellow makes orange. Very good, so those are our primary and our secondary colors. And maybe we can mix, Miss Kathy will find something that we can mix together on here. And maybe you can do it at home too, because I have things I can do, I just didn't have them ready. Um, but when we get ready to make, talk about our secondary colors, we're gonna mix our primary together and make something. Oh, that'll be fun. All right, so thank you for helping me with that. Now, I'd like to tell you a flannel board story about colors. Let me move my table over. As I said, I need things that wheel, but this makes a lot of noise. All righty. I hope you can see this. But, all right, so everybody's sitting and ready. This is a flannel board story, and it's about Scat the Cat. Let me see if I can get us a little closer so that I can see me, and you can see me. That's a little far away. There we go. Let's see, is Miss Kathy's head chopped off? I hate when I chop my head off. Oh no, I'm pretty good. All right, Scat the Cat. This is about Scat the Cat. Scat the cat, he was sassy and fat. And he had a special thing. He could change colors just like that. And that's pretty cool because most cats can't do that. But Scat was having a problem. He went to his family and noticed that all his family were the same color. They were all, what color? Black. They were all black, every single one of them. All his friends were black, and he was black. His mom and dad were black. They were all the color of black. And that's a really cool color. It's one of my favorites. It makes you look really thin when you wear it. <laughs> but he was 
he was tired of being the same color. And I know that happens to some of us. Sometimes we get tired of wearing the same colors. So you have to think about him wearing the color of black all the time. And he thought, you know what? I think I'm going to change colors. I want to do that. That's something I can do. So he took a walk. And as he was walking down through the fields, he came to an apple tree. And what color are apples, boys and girls? Red. Most of them are red, but what other two colors can they be? Green and yellow. That's right. This one was a red apple tree. And he looked at the apples and he thought, oh, that's a great color. So he climbed up into the tree and he said, I'm Scat the Cat. I'm sassy and fat. And I can change colors just like that. And when he did, he became red. Oh, just like that. And he thought, oh, that's a good color. Look at that. I'm nice and bright. This is Miss Kathy's favorite color. And he was sitting in the tree and he was looking at everything thinking, oh, this is really cool. When along came a person and looked up in the tree and thought, oh, that apple looks really good and reached up to get an apple and almost got scat. And that scared him. He didn't want to be eaten. Oh my goodness, no. So the person picked an apple and walked on, but he thought, you know, this is not right. I don't think red is a good safe color for me. So he climbed down out of the tree and he took a little walk. And pretty soon he came to a pond and he looked down into the pond and the water was a beautiful blue, blue. And he thought, oh, that's a beautiful color and nobody's gonna eat me. So he says, I'm, if you can remember it, say it with me, I'm Scat the Cat, a sassy and fat, and I can change colors just like that. And he snapped his little paws and he became blue. Blue, yep, just like the pond. Well, he thought that was beautiful and he wanted to see how he looked. So he looked down into the pond to see himself and he fell into the pond. Well, he's a cat and some cats can't swim very well and he was having a terrible time and he thought, oh no, oh no, this was not a good color and nobody can see me because I'm the same color as the pond. But there was somebody who could see him and he came swimming along Mr. Turtle and Mr. Turtle saw Scat and he grabbed him by the tail and he pulled him out. Oh, Scat the Cat was so thankful. He was like, oh, thank you so much, Mr. Turtle, for saving me. Thank you. And Mr. Turtle said, that's no problem. And off he went. But what color is Mr. Turtle? He's green. And Scat thought, oh, that's the color I should be. I will be a good helper, just like Mr. Turtle, if I'm green. So he said, say it with me, I'm Scat the Cat. I'm sassy and fat and I can change colors just like that. And he snapped his little paws and he became green. Well, there he was, green. And he thought, this is a good color. Nobody's gonna eat me. I shouldn't disappear into the pond. This is a great color. So after a while, he was walking along and walking along and walking along and he got into some really high grass, really high grass and he blended in with the grass. And while he was in the grass, all of a sudden, along came one of his cousins, who was not a very nice cousin, Mr. Lion. And he almost stepped on Scat because he couldn't see him in the tall grass. Oh, that made him very angry because he was afraid he was gonna hurt himself if he stepped on him. And so he growled and roared and said, cats are not supposed to be green. You almost made me fall down. Oh, roar. Well, that scared Scat. And he thought, oh, I don't want to get my cousin Lion upset. But did you notice what color was Mr. Lion? He was yellow. And if Mr. Lion can be yellow, that's a good color for a cat. That's what Scat thought. He thought, oh, cats can be yellow. And maybe I can be brave like Mr. Lion is then. Oh, that's a good thing. So what did he do? He said, I'm Scat the cat. I'm sassy and fat. And I can change colors just like that. Step his little paw. And he became yellow. Oh, yellow. It's such a nice bright color and it's beautiful and shiny. and. Oh, it's sunshiny and he just loved it. He thought this was wonderful. So 
he started to head back to his friends and his family. And they, of course, were all having a party and a picnic. And they saw him coming along and they said, hey, Mr. Cat, Mr. Yellow Cat, have you seen our friend Scat? Have you seen our brother Scat? We can't find him and we're having a picnic and we want him to come. And Scat said, well, I'm Scat. And they said, no, no, you're not. Our Scat is black like us. Yeah. He said, but that's me. And they said, no, you're yellow. You're yellow. Yes. If you see our friend Scat or our brother Scat, would you let him know that we're going on a picnic? Oh. And they all started down to the creek to have a picnic. Well, that upset Scat. He was Scat. He wanted to be with them. And he thought, you know what? That was a really good color. Black is a, that was my color. That I wear black really well. And they didn't know me if I wasn't black. Hmm. So, guess what he did? He said, I'm Scat, the cat. I'm sassy and fat. And I can change colors just like that. And he snapped his little paws and he went back to being, what color? Black. Yep. And he ran down on his little paws and the friends turned around and his brothers and sisters and mom and dad. Like, Scott! Scott! Where have you been? We've been looking for you. You come, come. We're having a picnic. Come. And he was so excited and so glad that they wanted him. Just the way he looked. And the people who love us and like us, they don't care what color we are. They don't care if our skin is white or our skin is black or our skin is brown. They love us and we should love everybody no matter what they look like. And we should be happy with the colors we are. So there we had a story about colors and it's our color day. So we've been talking about all the different colors. Now in this story, there were a couple colors that we didn't talk about. Do you remember what they were? We talked about yellow, we talked about blue, and we talked about red. So that was three primary colors. We talked about green. There was two secondary colors we didn't talk about. Purple and orange, that's right. But we talked about black and that wasn't with our stars. So in our crayon boxes, we have the color black and we have another color that if you take all the colors and put them together, it usually turns out to be this, but not a real pretty one, brown, brown. So um, on brown day, we'll have a story about something brown. You think about that. All righty, well, I'll move that over there. And I'm gonna teach you a little song about a rainbow and the colors in the rainbow. And I hope I get it right because I don't have Miss Jen here today, but I think it goes red and orange and yellow, green and blue and purple. God made the rainbow bright and beautiful. Red and orange and yellow, green and blue and purple. God made the rainbow bright and beautiful. Now tomorrow on Red Day, we'll learn some red songs. We have a story and we are then ready to end our day. Alrighty, we've learned about some colors today and um, we've learned our primary colors and our secondary colors. We learned how we should be happy with ourselves. And so now we're gonna have a story about bear. And bear is the color that we didn't do anything with today, brown. Brown, yep, this bear is brown. But this bear sees colors. Yeah, he sees colors. And this story is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. And we read about bear a lot here at preschool. And I like bear stories. This bear story, he's a really cool bear. And he's gonna see colors. So are you ready? Get your hands up. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give them a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Bear sees colors. All righty. Mouse and bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees, oh, what color do you see? Blue, blue flowers by the trail, blueberries, yum, yum, yum. A blue pail, blue, blue everywhere. We can spy blue with bear, oh, blue. 
Can you think of anything that's blue? The blue sky, the blue water, lots of blue. Along the trail hops hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hare points up ahead and the bear sees red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries, red, red everywhere. We can spy red with bear. Oh, red things, red apples, red raspberries, red fire trucks, red, Miss Kathy's car is red. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger bellows, and the bear sees yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy, honeycombs with yellow honey, yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? Yep, the sun is yellow, um, flowers are yellow, there's all kinds of, stars are yellow, lots of yellow. Gophers out with mole and they are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees green, green mint for making tea, green and tasty, sweet peas, green, green everywhere, we can spy green with bear, green. Green is another one of my, my favorite colors. I like green. It makes me feel good. I like grass that's green. I like the trees when they're green. Mm -hmm. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round, and the friends see <gasps> brown chocolate cake. Brown and sweet, brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy, brown, Bear! Colors, colors everywhere. We can find colors just like bear. Oh, oh, bear is brown. And look at all his friends. They're all there having a picnic chocolate cake. Mmm, that makes me get hungry here. It's getting close to my lunchtime. Oh, all kinds of good things to eat. Chocolate chip cookies. So, anyway, bear knows his colors and he saw them everywhere, just like you can. All right, our lesson today is a little shorter than usual, but that's okay, we'll make it up on another day. All righty, so listen carefully. What's tomorrow's color? Red, so you need to be wearing your red on Tuesday. Wear your red on Tuesday, and it doesn't have to be a shirt, it can just be something red. Girls, if you have your nails painted, they could be red. And remember, mommies and daddies can take pictures of you, and we'll post them on Facebook. Alrighty, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. And please fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and this colorful world we live in, Lord. This is a wonderful, colorful world. Help us to enjoy all the colors and take good care of them. Amen. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye, so just smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. All righty. Emmy, get up. Turn off the camera. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>